My name is Bismarck Asamoa Asante, the founder and CEO of Nassam Brand Enterprise. At Nassam Brand Enterprise, we do produce or we manufacture cooking stoves such as gas stoves, charcoal stoves, and um, gasifier stoves, as well as ovens and wood stove as well. The whole journey started in 2010 when I completed Cape Coast Polytechnic, where I read marketing which was um, HND marketing. So I had to, after school, I had to do my national service at Winneba in 2010. So I was staying at a place called um, Ekem's Yard at Winneba. There's a man there called Mr. Ekem. He's into uh, cooking stoves and uh, ceramics. Yeah, so I was staying at his compound and he's, he brought this young man that he was working with. So I was good to this young man. I was good to him when he needs anything because he was my next door neighbor. When he needs anything, I give it to him only if I have it. And mostly to, um, it was a financial need. So I always make sure that I support him whenever he needs the money. I give him, though I was having my national service, I had a little, but then uh, I was sharing with him because sharing is caring. So I was there one day when he came to me that um, they were producing the Jiko stove. In Kenya, they call Jiko. In Ghana, here we call Japa Copot or Japa stove. He came and told me that he, he can actually innovate this uh, Japa Copot to gas. I told him that that's not possible because Japa has been in existence for long and nobody has thought of that. How are you able to do that? How are you able, like, how was he able to, how was, how was he able to do that? How was he going to do that? Yeah. So then he actually um, brought me a prototype. I was shocked myself. He even created a, a space that you can put your matches box. I was wow. So even the man's, I mean, the CEO at that time, the man's wife wanted him to produce one for, for her, but she, he said, no, he won't do it. I don't know um, his reason. So after my service, that was 2011, I, I got a job with asset savings and loans as a credit or as a loans officer. So I went to Kumasia, uh, Amekum, around the Barbera Sports Stadium, New Amekum. That was where I was working in 2011. So in 2000 and 2013, I tried army because um, my late daddy was a policeman. I was interested to join the army, but I, unfortunately I couldn't get it. So when I returned, um, I was fed up with the job. So I actually came to resign from Asa. That was 2011, around April, May. So I came back to 2013, that was 2013. So I came to Asaman Kesi where my mom was with my other siblings. We are five in number, but then two of us, two was with my mom. My other mom's sister is, um, is a policewoman. The second born is a nurse who is now around, then I'm the third born. Then um, the one, after me, it's, um, it's also, she has completed nursing school at Adana, but she's waiting for her posting. And the last but one, the last born, uh, who is a guy, uh, is, is also a nurse at that place right now. Yeah, so I came to join my mom and I stayed with my mom. My mom actually told me not to resign, but then I was fed up with the job because I couldn't get it. I mean, like, I was just fed up with the job. So I resigned, came back to um, Asaman Kesi. My mom tried to, I mean, to go see the GCB manager at that time at Asaman Kesi, um, Mr. Benjamin Bracco, who was the manager at that time, to go um, plead on my behalf to allow me to work over there. The man said they don't do it that way. So they had to send my document, other things. So I actually got a contract with them. So I was working as, as a contract staff at GCB at Commercial Bank, Ghana Commercial Bank, at Asaman Kesi. So from them, um, all this while we were we were communicating, I always communicate with the guy that, let's pray that I get money. When I get money, we'll start this business that we talked about some years back. So in 2014, I lost my daddy. You know, so after the funeral, when everything came to an end, GCB also told me that my time is up, I had to leave. So I left, a friend helped me to get a job in Kaswa, which is, um, uh, progressive microfinance. So I was, I went there as a credit officer. The same thing. I was giving out loans. 
So in 2015, when I came to Kaswa, that was where I told the guy that, oh, now we can start. I had little, um, I had some money that we can use it as a capital. Then some few friends also helped me at that time. So we started producing. So in 2015, we started and our, our first, um, and I was, and our first, uh, how do you call it, um, consignment that came was 50 pieces of stoves, which was the gas stoves that he uh, showed me a prototype some years back. We started producing them because we, I had little money, like I, I didn't have enough money. My capital was not enough, so we started with 50. And in 2016, I, I had to resign from the company because I wanted to have time for the business because my attention was divided. And the company was giving me pressure because you need to be able to achieve your target. So I had to actually resign and concentrate on the stops. So the challenge that I had was that was from my, 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 my mother, because you know, these are Ghanaian set up our mothers. Um, most of them don't understand this entrepreneur journey. So she was like, why do you want to venture into a store? And moreover to uh, her problem was that you are not the one producing. So someone will produce for you whilst you go and sell or market. It's not the best. And you are putting your money. I told her that mom, don't worry. I know exactly what I'm doing. So you shouldn't worry. So in 2016, yeah, we are still on it. 2017, 18. In 2018, SMV, one, uh, Netherlands uh, NGO, one of the big NGOs in the world, um, brought out a challenge that they, they want all the producers to come out with a wood stove. It was a wood stove challenge, like to come out with a wood stove, a stove that uses firewood uh, for household. So we also sent in our prototype or our sample and Lo and behold, we won the award. It was a national award in 2018. So Nassam Brand, we won the award. So the award gave us an exposure. People then uh, started knowing us, uh, Ministry of Energy, the Energy Commission. Um, 2019, which was last year also, you, um, the United Nations Development Program gave me a citation for my uh, contribution towards the SDG, which is SDG 7 and, and 13, which is the SDG 7 is uh, affordable and clean energy for all. And the 13 is climate action. Because of the kind of stoves that we are producing, the efficiency is high, the emission is low. So the carbon dioxide that goes into air, we are trying to um, bring it down. And my aim is to help the women to be able to, I mean, reduce the indoor air pollution that goes into them, the pollution that they inhale at the kitchen, and it gives them a lot of diseases, heart-related diseases like um, lung cancer, pneumonia, stillbirth, and all that. And recently, when we experienced the COVID-19, according to World Health Organization, they said that pollution kills, and, and, and the Clean Cooking Alliance, which is the mother body of our association, at first it was Global Alliance for, for Clean Cooking Stove, now it's Clean Cooking Alliance. They came out with the research from the World Health Organization that when you inhale smoke, you are likely to die earlier than someone who doesn't smoke. That's why they told all smokers to stop smoking. So my aim is to help our, our women and our mothers because according to the same World Organization, annually in Ghana, about 18,000 people die for not using improved, clean, and efficient cook stove. So our stoves have been tested by the, um, the CSR, Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, uh, which is the Institute for Industrial Research, IR, under the CSR. They test our stoves, they take it to the lab, and they test them. So uh, our stoves are not just cooking stoves that we are producing, but we are trying to eliminate the traditional way of cooking where people use the, the, the three stones to cook and all that. So, the, so we are trying to eliminate the traditional way of cooking for people to uh, start using an improved cook stove. And very soon we are in talks with the um, Ghana Education Service. They are going to add to their curriculum and teach our kids or our children in school the, the need and importance of the clean uh, cook stoves. So that as they grow, they will be able to understand why we are even producing this clean cook stove. And again, I had a passion for it in 2010 before I completed uh, my national service. I worked with an, an agency where they, they, were, where they were given a, a questionnaire to go around and, and ask women the questions of, about 
the effect that the 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 they not using improved quick stove gives to them. So some of the women who are into palm oil production were complaining that uh, the smoke is too much and all that. So I had that thing upon my heart that oh. When I finish school and I get a capital, I would like to do something to solve this issue because there are a lot of problems in the world that need solutions. So this is one way of coming up with a solution. And I think it has impacted a lot of people. Now the World Bank knows about Nassambran Enterprise. Energy Commission knows about us. Um, and recently, to last two months, I graduated from an incubation or incubating um, hub at the Ghana um, uh, GC, GCIC, which is Ghana Climate Innovation Center. So I think uh, gradually, I mean, we are going somewhere, but the challenges is that people still don't believe we made in Ghana goals and the fund and lack of finance is the issue. And people don't understand the entrepreneurial journey, uh, including our, our family. Remember that when you start the journey, the first people to, I mean, uh, not support you or not understand what you're doing is your own family, your own people around you. So you need to be focus you need to pay attention to whatever comes to you you need to understand be humble respect your predecessors who started the journey learn from them and um, also try to innovate try to innovate because now the world is changing we are moving to renewable energies so we have been thinking of partnering with a company that produces solar so that as time goes on we can produce a, a, a coal stove that will use solar so it can be solar powered you can use it to maybe charge your phone, do a lot of things that 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 is going because others are doing it. Why can't we do it? Uh, so we are challenging ourselves that it is possible. It is possible. All we need now is to be able to move from the artisanal process to automation. We need automation machines. Last year, the Korean government came down to sign an, an MOU with our uh, Ghana government to produce 500,000 cold stuff. And uh, I'm happy to announce that we are one of the companies that we've gotten a subcontract from one of the main companies who got a contract. So as we speak now, we are producing the Chico stove, which is the Japan stoves. Um, some quantity has been given to us to produce. And the issue here, once again, is capacity building. We don't, sometimes we don't have the capacity to be able to achieve. We are supposed to produce 5,000 cook stove per month. And uh, ask yourself, we don't have any machines that we're using. So these are some of the challenges. And we don't have any incentive to be given to innovators. Those that produce the stoves, we don't have any incentive that we give to them. So all these things are challenges that we're facing. We're trying to convince the government to be able to, to wave off some taxes on the machineries that we import into the country so that some of us be the young ones and i'm happy to announce that i'm the youngest producer when it comes to coastal i'm the youngest manufacturer in ghana because i'm a little bit i'm in my 30s so um i'm the youngest when it comes to cookstoves and i think um the 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 the, the youth coming up our university graduate our polytechnic graduate and all that they can learn from me and we shouldn't always rely on the government that we are going to get employment uh, being employed by the government you can start something little something small and pray that god will bless it for it to grow over the years so that you can also i mean motivate or inspire the young ones coming up it's my aim that i'll be able to empower the, the youth especially women i'll be able to empower them by um by i mean employing them by training them to how they can market or how they can produce the stove itself because anything that a man can do a man can do so it's my aim that i can empower the youth i can employ so that i can be i can reduce the unemployment rate which is in our system this, this is something which is upon my heart if anybody feels that he or she can come on board support let's do this i'm trying to get a land where we can build a factory as of now we are in cape coast but we're just managing the little resources that we have at the moment. But we're trying to get a land around Kaswa, Swedru, Kunyaku, so that we can build up a factory. A factory. We want to become one of the biggest cookstore manufacturers or manufacturing companies in Ghana and even West Africa or even the whole of Africa. So that those in the other I mean regions can hear of us and come into support. Thank you.